This is the Anycubic Cobra 3 Max, the largest consumer grade multicolor 3D printer with an insane build volume of 420 by 420 by 500 millimeters. I have spent the last few weeks pushing the limits of this machine along with the Ace Pro unit and honestly, this is the most fun I've had 3D printing in a long time. Look at this thing, man. Anycubic did send this printer to me for the purpose of this video, so I'm gonna try and be as unbiased as possible, but honestly, I've really had an amazing time with this printer so far. Just listen to these clips of me seeing the finished prints. This is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I will have affiliate links in the description if you're interested in this printer, and I also believe Anycubic is running a Black Friday sale on it. Huge thank you to Anycubic for supporting my small channel. Setting up the printer is a bit more involved than with an enclosed Core XY or smaller machine, but it was still fairly simple and straightforward. The printer comes bolted to the base for safer shipping. First, you have to clip off some zip ties and then unbolt the base and unbolt the screws holding down the gantry. Line it up on both sides and screw the gantry in place. Then you attach these huge stabilizer rods. Plug in the cables for the Z-axis motors, attach the print head to the gantry, and then finally plug in the touchscreen before securing it in place with two screws. Depending on if you purchased the combo or not, you would then organize the PTFE tubes and filament paths to the print head. The instructions were really easy to follow. And side note, when assembling this machine, make sure to give yourself plenty of room, unlike me. This machine is heavy, and the bed needs a ton of space to move. I had it all assembled and up and running in about three hours using the provided hardware, but I was also filming the entire process. So I think if you were just setting it up at home, the process would take about an hour and a half. This build volume is insane. At 420 by 420 by 500 millimeters. It's honestly hard to show the scale on video. The machine is recommended to operate facing forward, but until I have a permanent spot for it, I had to print with it turned kind of sideways. The Cobra 3 Max features a 4.3 inch touchscreen that is clean and easy to navigate. It has all the features and controls you need for assigning colors and filament types, as well as controlling the filament drying functions of the Ace Pro, which we'll get to in a bit. There are two USB ports on the side for sending files manually by USB or to provide power to something like an external monitoring camera. The massive bed requires 800 watts of power and heats up in about two minutes. After I ran the initial calibrations that took about 20 minutes, checking auto leveling, flow calibration, and vibration compensation, I then printed a mandatory Benchy that looked pretty good actually. It was kind of strange seeing such a big machine move so fast. Technically, the printer can hit 600 millimeters per second, but the recommended speed is 300 millimeters per second, which makes total sense. If you run a bed slinger this big at 600 millimeters per second, your house would probably fall down. After the Benchy, I went straight into my first huge print, which was this Lord of the Rings Orthanc Dice Tower from Maker Online. It printed as a single piece with no supports and took around 30 hours, and it turned out absolutely awesome. So this is hard to even film in here because there's like no room in this printer so big, but this was one piece humongous. I was so excited that I ended up immediately painting it. The next model I printed was an amazing Yoda bust from Photos Mint. Again, a single piece printed with no supports and also took around 30 hours. This print is huge! The print came out good. There was some ringing and ghosting on it that could probably be dialed in more with adjusting settings, but I kind of didn't care that much. The fact that this was straight out of the box and just handled two huge back-to-back 30-hour -back prints was very impressive. I will also showcase some multicolor prints a bit later in the video, but first I want to talk about Maker Online and the Anycubic Slicer next. Most of the models I printed came from Maker Online, Anycubic's free file library, similar to Maker World, and there was a pretty vast catalog of models on there that are all available directly inside the slicer. 
The slicer is Anycubic Slicer Next, which is Orca based. So if you have experienced 3D printing on pretty much any modern slicer, it feels very familiar and easy to navigate. It also recognized and paired to the printer right away after I logged in, which was great because as I mentioned, the printer was kind of sideways. So I sent all of the prints over Wi-Fi because I had limited access to the touchscreen. The workbench in the slicer also allows for control of the Ace Pro unit, including color assignment and drying functions. Speaking of drying functions, it's been raining a lot where I live, so humidity has been a lot higher than normal, and my studio is not exactly state of the art. So I ran almost all my prints with the Ace Pro dryer on. To test the drying capabilities of the Ace Pro, I printed the same retraction test twice, using a random spool of PLA that I know has been sitting around for at least a year. The first test with the dryer off, and then again with the dryer on, but this time I placed a hydrometer inside the Ace unit to track humidity and temperature. Both prints were fine, but the dried filament test was noticeably sharper, had less stringing, and overall cleaner surfaces. If you print multicolor often, you tend to open multiple spools at once and rarely use them up immediately. So it's great that the Ace Pro can help dry out filament while printing to bring those spools back to life. So finally on to multicolor printing. The Cobra 3 Max supports multicolor printing up to eight colors, but I only have one ACE unit. So I kept the colors to four. I use stock print profiles and stock flushing volumes. First was this Flexi Toothless model that I scaled up and it turned out great. And I realized while editing this video, I forgot to print the wings for it. Then I printed this Anycubic toolbox to keep all the provided spare parts and accessories in. this dragon illusion which turned out awesome and has been watching my every move in the studio for the past week. And finally, this incredible file from Unicorn Graveyard that I scaled way up. I saw this print all over social media and it is awesome. The design uses a color stacking technique that only uses one color per layer, so it only required 115 color swaps for the entire model and only around 50 grams of purge material, which the printer handled no problem. The file artist also has other prints using this technique, so go check them out, super nice guy, and has some awesome prints available for the holidays. So what are my final thoughts on the Cobra 3 Max? As I mentioned in the intro, I have been having so much fun with this printer. Does it print the best quality in the entire industry? No, but that's not what this machine is aimed for. The Cobra 3 Max is aimed at sheer size. This printer excels at huge single color prints and large multicolor projects. And for the price, you simply cannot beat the build volume. I also have to note that I've had zero print failures during my time printing on it so far. It would be a great machine for cosplay or prop making, or for someone like me that likes to print large statues that take me way too long to finish. In conclusion, I would highly recommend the Cobra 3 Max, especially if your use case calls for it. Thank you as always for watching, and please like and subscribe for future content.